hey what's up guys this is shukesh and this video is very important if you are considering this moto m for gaming the motorola moto g4 plus was a really good gaming device and this moto m actually secured better score than the g4 plus in benchmarks so is it really that good is it better than g4 plus let's find out i want to also quickly mention that the loudspeaker which is powered by dolby atmos sound enhancement is pretty loud and clear it's louder than most of the devices in its class it also doesn't interfere with your hand when you are gaming this 5.5 inch screen is also perfect for gaming it's not too big not too small and full hd resolution with 401 ppi is excellent graphics look super smooth and though the viewing angles and the brightness of the display is not the best but it's good enough you are not going to complain before I show you the games, I want to quickly check the specs. Some of you guys are actually concerned about the MediaTek processor you have on this phone, which usually generates more heat than usual. But fortunately, this Moto M doesn't overheat when you are charging or using the camera. I will talk about the gaming later. As you know, there are two versions of Moto M. I've got the 4GB RAM variant, which I really suggest. The 3GB RAM option is basically just 2000 rupees cheaper and you are also getting a bigger storage which is very important for gaming. The battery you have on this phone is 3050mAh lithium polymer and the battery backup of this phone is not satisfactory. I am barely getting one full day though I am a heavy user. If you are a moderate user then you can expect at least 12 hours of continuous backup. For hardcore gaming I think the battery backup will be around 3-4 to four hours. There you have the Geekbench 4 score and the 3D Mark Gamers Benchmark score which is as I mentioned before not bad, better than Moto G4+. Plus. Let me also show you the nth to score which is 47,820. Obviously it's a mediocre score for a device in this price category. There are devices like Redmi Note 3 scores much higher but again considering the brand it's not bad at all. In fact Samsung Galaxy On Next secured much lower score 43,000 on Antutu 6. But as you know On Next or J7 Prime lags in games. Now it's time for the gaming. So let's clear the apps and start the gaming which you have been waiting for. These are the games I have for you today. Let's start with Nova 3. All these games are really hardcore and I think most of these are above 1 gig in size. Well, I think there was slight frame drop but it's now fine. There is no issue, no display lag I can feel though there is some frame drop now and then. The game lags sometimes but of course this game is playable on this Moto M. The lag is negligible, sometimes it's quite smooth but still it's there and I feel that Moto G4 Plus handles this game better. The Samsung Galaxy On Next J7 Prime or Galaxy On 8 lags in this game. Galaxy J7 2016 is the only device that can handle this game without any single issue mainly because the screen resolution is 720p. So if you want a phone for gaming just get the J7 2016 if you are okay with the resolution. This Moto M is actually not bad but the lag is quite visible sometimes. The game's response is not hampered by this. Now I will play this game for a while if you want to skip to the next one just check the description below for the time code. The next game I'm gonna try is Modern Combat 5. Okay. 
well i don't feel any lag in this game so far the game is playing buttery smooth the graphics is very crisp and detailed there is no display lag and the display brightness could be better i think Well there you got a lag so this game is also not lag free but I think these are negligible you can play these games on this Moto M it's not a perfect gaming device you can still manage to play games like this in medium graphics or with lags now and then but still for an 18000 rupees phone I am slightly disappointed it could be better I think now I will play this game for a while if you want to skip you can check the description below for the time code The next game I have for you today is called Implosion. Well, I think this game is playing buttery smooth, there is no lag, no shutter experience and the graphics, the game's response, everything is top class, there is no issue at all. I will play this game for a while, you can skip any time. Now after playing games for more than 5 minutes let's check the temperature and I don't think it's that high it's around 39 or 40 degrees celsius which is quite normal actually Moto G4 heats up to around 43 or 44 degrees celsius so the heat management of this phone is actually quite good 41 degrees celsius is the maximum I think. Next let's try Brothers in Arms 3. A lot of devices actually cannot handle this game properly, so let's see what happens this time. Well, as I suspected, this game is lagging on this Moto M and the worst part is there is screen latency which is not tolerable actually. If you don't have the patience then you might want to skip this game on this Moto M Though the lag is not as severe as a lot of other devices, I don't think you will enjoy playing this game. So I conclude Moto M is not capable enough for handling Brothers in Arms 3. If you have the patience, you can of course play this game. You can now skip to the next game anytime. The last game I'm gonna play today is your favorite Asphalt 8. Well it's really frustrating to see that the intro video is lagging so I don't think the game will be playable on this phone very smoothly. 
I want to mention here the game's graphics has been set to maximum. Considering the price tag, I think this phone should be able to handle Asphalt 8. In fact, Galaxy On Next or J7 Prime can handle Asphalt 8 without any issue at maximum graphics. So, I am really disappointed with this Moto M. If you are not into looks, then you can actually go for the Moto G4 Plus for gaming. If you really want a very good looking device, metal phone, then you can go for Galaxy J7 Prime or On Next. This Moto M looks and feels very premium and stylish, but for gaming, it's a big no. You can play this game in medium graphics though, but again for the price and the class of this phone, it's not acceptable. This game is actually playable on this phone, but I really cannot bear with this lag. You can now skip to the end part where I will check the temperature again. Well, I don't think the phone overheated, but still, let's check the temperature once again and it's the same as before, 41 degrees Celsius is maximum. So overall, this Moto M is not a hardcore gaming device, I will say, you can get it for medium graphics games and of course for the amazing build quality and looks. An in-depth review is on the way, so stay tuned. If you think this video was really enjoyable, was really helpful to you then please consider subscribing to this channel and also sharing this with your friends and family. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day.